Hello and welcome to this day trip in Switzerland. We are currently aboard the IC5 train heading to the beautiful city of St. Gallen, or St. Gall as you prefer. This video was recorded in the summer, even if looking outside you might be led to believe it's winter time. It was actually one of the rainiest summers ever recorded north of the Alps. So here we are at St. Gallen train station. From here we are going to catch bus number one to go visit the Natural History Museum. It's a 12 minute ride on the bus and it stops almost in front of the museum. It's a recent building, as you can see, accessible to people with reduced mobility. It's a fun museum for the kids. The exhibition is only in German, but there's an app that you can install on your phone that, that, that explains what you see and it's available in German, French and English. Many different animals to see from this area of Switzerland, but one of the highlights was this real dinosaur skeleton. After the museum, we got back on the bus to return to the city center, where we made our way to the Abbey of St. Gall. Luckily, the weather opened up and the sun decided to appear. The city grew around the abbey, founded in the 8th century, and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983. There are many pedestrian cobbled streets close to the abbey, where you can let your kids run freely without worrying about cars. And here we are at the Abbey, where we are greeted by the church bells.
my car way inside the Baroque Cathedral, opened in 1766 as a church and later becoming a cathedral in 1847 and appreciate its rich decorations and frescoes. Leaving the cathedral and on the opposite side of the building, you can visit the exquisite library with books dating back to the 9th century. Built between 1758 and 1767 in a Rococo style, it really is worth a visit, but unfortunately no pictures or video allowed on the interior, so I leave you here with a photo from the internet. It's the oldest library in Switzerland and one of the oldest in the world. After the library, you can continue to tour the site, looking at the beautiful architecture, fountains and gardens. When the weather is good, you will see lots of people sitting on the grass and children playing. Leaving the Abbey, we continued our day walking the medieval streets, appreciating the old buildings and the calmness of the city. On the way back to the train station, 
we found ourselves on this very interesting and different street <laughs> named Rotterplatz, where everything is covered in the red shock absorbing material. Quite intriguing, but fun for the kids. And here ends our day trip to St. Gall. Hope you enjoyed. More videos to come about day trips in Switzerland, so subscribe so that you don't miss those. Thank you all and goodbye!